We all have been using the data validation feature in MS Excel, but today we are going to talk about five advanced data validation examples that I am sure you did not know before. These examples are based on custom data validation using formulas. We will combine the data validation feature of MS Excel with formulas to use them in advanced way and make advanced examples. Let's dive in. As you can see on my screen, in the first example, we will restrict entry to specific length. For example, we have this first name column here and I want the user to enter names according to fixed length. So for that, let me select this column, go to the data ribbon and in that data ribbon let's go to the data validation section instead of any value i'll select text length and in between i'll go with less than or equal to and let's add 10 here so what i want here to uh, enable user to enter only uh, names of 10 characters so less than or equal to 10 characters let me click ok now if i enter for example adam it will accept this if I enter Adam Steven Smith which is more than 10 characters and if I press enter it will not accept this this is what I wanted in the first example let me cancel this and that's it in the second example as you can see you'll allow only future dates for example in this left on column uh, we will add a data validation here where you will add only future dates so for that let me uh, again go to the data ribbon select data validation instead of any value let's add custom and in custom we will add a formula uh, to determine what entries will be allowed and what entries will not be allowed here so for that let me add an equal sign and let me say that this cell which is currently g3 but it will be applied to all of these cells because because we have selected all of them and we can say that this should be greater than today so today is the function which returns today's date let me click ok if I enter a date here, for example, uh, let me add 2024 and 07, which is July, and 20, because we can see today is 26, so this should not accept this value. If I press enter, it is not accepting this. Let's retry and change the date from 20 to 29, which is a future date. If I press enter, it is accepting this. So this is how we can restrict values and we can say and and we can allow only future dates in the third example uh, we will restrict entry to unique values again let me select this first name column or any column that you want uh, we can select that let's go to the data ribbon and click on data validation again we will use uh, the custom one to combine it with a formula and here we will use the countif function countif uh, let's select this entire range we will allow only uh, those values where this uh, entire range has only one value of that so it will not allow duplicate values here let's log this range of cells from b3 to b20 so let me select this and press f4 from keyboard it will lock this it will add dollar signs there and it will lock this reference after that we can select this first value in this range so close this what you want to say here is that we want to say that this b3 value and this range should be equal to only once it means uh, it should not be duplicated we only need this entry only once so uh, whatever entry this is it should not be repeated let me click ok now let's add a unique value for example uh, jennifer which is not here it will accept this but let's uh, try this sony which is already there sony and it is not accepting this because it is duplicate value Let's cancel this. In this fourth example, uh, we are restricting entry based on another sales value. For example, in this sale price, we want this sale price to be greater than the purchase price. For example, if we purchase an item in a store, uh, we are the sellers, we have item in uh, our store and we want to sell that item. So if we purchase it on $100, we want to have some profit from that. So we will sell it on 110 and, or 120 and uh, something like that. So the sale price must be greater than the purchase price so for that let me select all this range of sale price go to data ribbon and click on this uh, data validation feature and let's select custom here again you will add the formula and this is very simple we can say that it's equal to this value of uh, d3 must be greater than the value of uh, c3 that's it it's very simple let's click ok now for example in this line of items for example uh, i want to add 
120 and let's add a uh, sale price less than 120 like 100 so it should not accept this if i press enter it's not accepting let's retry and instead of 100 let's add it to 150 and if i press enter this time it's accepting 150 because that's greater than 120 that's it this is the fourth example in the fifth example uh, we want to restrict entry to values that ensure positive account balance so for example if we have 1000 in our bank account we cannot spend more than 1000 uh, so we will spend less than or equal to 1000 so for that let me select this transaction amount column go to data validation click on data validation let's select custom let's add equal to and let's say that this first cell of current balance minus this cell of uh, transaction amount must be greater than or equal to zero it means if we deduct a transaction amount from current balance there must be something uh, left or there must be zero so it cannot be negative balance okay let me click ok and if i press for example we have 7457 and this line if we add 10,000, it should not it should not accept this if i press enter it's not accepting and if i add 5000 which is less than this 7000 if i press enter this is now accepting this so this is how we restrict entry and data validation feature of ms excel and this is how we use the advanced version of data validation in ms excel let me know in the comments how you use data validation feature of ms excel in your day-to-day -day life make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video thanks for watching